Imagine creating a shelter, a thermal shelter that traps the heat of a fire outside within. That's what we're looking at today. One of the most iconic shelters formed within the bushcraft community would be the Super Shelter by Morse Kachansky. Morse Kachansky being a Canadian bushcraft and wilderness survival instructor, so he must have known his stuff. So I've been on a bit of a walkabout this morning searching for an area to film this video and I came across these two trees. I'm thinking we use these two trees to create a raised platform, not much, just enough to get us off of the cold ground. And so that's where we'll start. <laughs> So there it is, the super shelter, very effective shelter, very easy build. Uh, now all we need to do is gather some thermal radiation. So as opposed to having a generic campfire that's going to have us replenishing wood all night long, I'm leaning more towards a long log fire. Now at one of our camp areas, there is a dead standing tree close by that's just a little too close for comfort, really. Uh, so we're going to handle that right now. So here's the tree right here, and that just behind us over there is one of our camp areas. She's a big girl. That's a 20 footer. 25. Three tons on them. So it's not really a straightforward cut either, as the top of the tree is leaning into the branches of a hornbeam. And I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing this out here by yourself alone, because if it goes wrong, it could go very wrong. The further up you get on the tree, the more broken branches are protruding, and so the chance of impalement is pretty good. So let's do it. So what I'm assuming is, where well, the top of the tree is leaning against this other tree, when we cut it, the bottom is going to swing out and fall towards us. Just have to figure out which way to run.
See, as you can see, the more you fuck around, the more you're gonna find out. So that tree is just a whole different video now. I haven't got the time to keep working on it. So uh, yeah, that'll be for a different video. Do not panic. This is not a public woodland. So people aren't walking through here and no one's in any danger, but we'll get it down. We'll get it down shortly onwards. So we're good to go for the night. I've scored the uh, top of the bottom log just to help the fire along to allow the hot coals to get into the crevices. Then we've jammed a bunch of tinder between the two logs and I've scored the bottom of the top log also. No sense in lighting it up now. Uh, we're just going to have to sit back and await the freeze. It's getting down to minus four degrees Celsius tonight. So yeah, it's going to get a little chilly. <laughs> Fixing to cook us up something to eat right now with the uh, the ridge monkey. Haven't used it in quite a while, so I thought, why not? We'll make ourselves a nice uh, grilled cheese sandwich. My butter is almost thawed out. Yeah, it's not quite. It's not quite soft enough. Yeah, right now it's just like play-doh. Oh well. Down pill in there. Okay. 
get it on the fire. Yeah, she's good. Much needed. Oh, that's better. Climbing in here for the first time, there's a significant difference in temperature. I can't tell you what it is because I haven't got my little uh, thermometer uh, thing with me. So, but it's definitely trapping the heat from the fire. I think right now uh, we're going to be uh, cooling it at night soon. Fire's still going strong. Don't think it's going to last till the morning, but that's my fault for uh, just not having longer logs. Yeah, we're cooling the night, and I'll see you guys in the morning.